Hi, Gemini. Welcome. So, Gemini, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip it if you need to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and let's go ahead and get started. So, Gemini, when um, I went to meditate on your energy, I was getting the number three. Um, and then, interestingly enough, when I came out of the meditation, uh, my camera was at 333 for the recording time. So, um, I don't know if you believe in numerology or if you know the spiritual meaning of 333, but definitely check that out as it showed up both in my meditation and then on the camera. And I believe, Gemini, you rule the third house, right, of communication. I'm pretty sure. So, also associated with Gemini, but... Um, there's messages about re repetition, of course, but also things that happen in threes, the spiritual meaning of threes. Um, yeah, take it as it resonates. <laughs> well, let's get into the tarot, though, and see where this is headed for you, Gemini. So overall energy, and sorry, also my nose is all itchy. Anyways, overall energy between you and the person you may be connecting with is Pisces. Could have Pisces in your chart. Be dealing with someone who has that in their chart and or it's just simply the influencing vibes. And this is talking about imagination, compassion, healing, empathy, getting in tune with your spiritual self, Gemini. Um, sometimes also, though, this can be sometimes an impractical energy or an escapist type of vibe. So be careful, right? There's a thin line between going into your imagination versus escapism. All right. Um, your overall energy is the Ace of Cups, which talks about love and emotions. So both of these are very highly emotional, highly intuitive, highly spiritual energies. Um, and then, of course, you know, anytime I see repetitive numbers, I always take that as a sign from the universe. Um, and usually also a sign of my own alignment. So take note of that Gemini a person you're connecting with very interesting the three of swords look at there's that three again I feel like this is going to be a pattern in this reading <laughs> the three of swords is the person you're connecting with so they may um be in that energy of going through something painful or having heartache or they could be healing from that it's part of their spiritual journey, whatever they have going on. And it's interesting because your energy is completely offsetting that. Meaning you're in this uh, place of like love or being able to give love or flow love or you're wanting that. And this person is kind of in the opposite energy of maybe needing what you have to give, okay? Um, and sometimes we do that in relationships, yin and yang type of energy exchanges, right? So... You might be in a place too, Gemini, where you're able to give or impart some knowledge or impart some love into a situation that might really need you right now or into this person if they need you. It could have also been that there's been heartache within the connection, okay? Um, and if that is the case, there is some sort of spiritual growth around that during this time frame. So let's see uh, what we have coming through. I'm going to go into the recent past and see what led up to the now. Then we're going to look at uh, how you both are feeling underneath it all and the most likely future outcomes. And let's go ahead and get into it. And I have a Fergie song in my head. I have no idea why you may randomly hear this song. And if so, great. Come back to the reading. But she says, I can't help it. No, no. You got me tripping, fumbling, oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, falling in love. I don't know. Does anybody know the lyrics to that song? <laughs> Check that song out. <clears throat> Anyways, recent past energy for my Gemini's, what led up to the now. You have the Eight of Cups here. The Magician. What else? Man, your cards will always be flying. Now, I actually planned on doing your reading a few days ago. And I started the reading and I got distracted. And all of a sudden felt this tug to go and do Sagittarius. So if you're connecting with Sagittarius or you have Sagittarius in your chart, you probably want to check out that reading as well. All right. 
So you have the Magician, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. This is manifesting uh, some sort of ending here or ability to walk away from things that no longer serve you, right? And I also heard the close of a chapter. So that's kind of what led up to the now moment here, Gemini. And I feel like there's, yet there's this restrictiveness. So it's almost like kind of going into a new phase or a new chapter of your life. And at the same time feeling either cautious or there's some sort of restriction around that. It's like, but these are mental restrictions, Gemini. I don't, I don't even, I'm not perceiving it as physical restrictions, meaning like your inability to pull out of something, a fear around that. Like if you make a decision that you cannot go back on that decision, there's nothing that you cannot move away from, no matter how big of a decision it is, Gemini. Life is changeable. There is never any definites or definitive endings to anything. Even though our brain will play tricks on us and make us feel like we can never, ever, ever go back. And that's true. You can never go back. But that doesn't mean the situation cannot change. That does not mean you are without options. That does not mean you cannot recreate. So this is like a very important reminder is there seems to be like some fear going on when it comes to like if you put your all into something or someone that you won't be able to pull back, you know, um, it's true that you cannot pull back energy because once you introduce energy into your mind, into your heart, into your vibration, it is forever a part of your vibration, but you can expand beyond it. You can move beyond it, right? It's not permanent forever and ever and ever. You're in that state um, because we are just adaptable and changeable creatures. And so it's just, uh, they're giving me the song State of Mind by Ariana Grande. Um, it's just a state of mind, right? So there's something here that you seem to be moving past. It's on a mental level. There's still a little bit of uncertainty or doubt around that, Gemini, but that's kind of what's led you to the now moment. Now let's see what this person's recent past energy is. And that song again. They keep re I keep re oh, la, la, la. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I cannot get my words out. Um I keep hearing on repeat the one part of that Fergie song where she says, and I can't help it. I can't help it. Yes, you can. <laughs> All right, this person's recent past energy. What led up to the now? Page of Swords. Ace of Cups. Two of Wands. Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So Gemini, um, this person has learned a lot about themselves, particularly when it comes to love and what they want for their future and what they want to invest their time in and how they want to get there. So I feel like this person has done some soul searching or definitely some looking into um, their own future and where they're headed. Um, I feel like this person is in this learning phase, though, when it comes to like overcoming heartache and their spiritual path and having compassion, having empathy. Um, this person may be someone who wants to often escape their heavier emotions or when things get tough, that could be their response. But it also could be something that you do. Take it as it resonates. It could be either or. And there is some learning to do around that situation. Um, this person knows in their heart, you know, where, where they're headed, what they want. And they're looking forward to um, their next chapter, I feel. I feel like this person is has a lot of certainty in their energy, which is interesting because their crowning energy is that of heartache. But, you know, sometimes out of heartache and pain comes enlightenment, comes connectivity, comes reassurance about who we really are and what we really want. I recently went through a conflict with someone I really, really love. And even though it was a very painful experience, what act, what came out of it was a clearer understanding of myself, a clearer understanding of what I want and how I really feel. And it gave a new launching off point for some things that needed to change that maybe, you know, 
I had been resistant of, okay, changing within myself, but also in my environment. And so it's kind of like that, Gemini, where the both of you or one of you have been through something similar to that or can relate to that. And it's like you're coming into this phase where it's a new jumping off point, okay? So <clears throat> let's see your perception of each other, Gemini, perception. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. The Tower and the Seven of Pentacles. So <laughs> this is really interesting that I just sat down and told you that about how change and conflict can bring about positive changes because it seems like Gemini, there could have been something here that she was holding on to, right? That was no longer serving you anymore, that needed to be laid to rest. And sometimes when we refuse to make changes within ourselves, or sometimes we're not even aware that we are the one that needs to change, right? But honestly, if you don't like the circumstances of your life or where you're at, it's almost always an internal job to change first the way that you think um, before anything can change outside of you. So it's always an internal um, journey, uh, Gemini, but sometimes we do fail to see where we get in our own ways. And that's not coming from a place of judgment, Gemini. That's just a fact. All human beings sometimes are blind to our own misgivings or to things that we do that hold us back, right? And the universe has this funny way of presenting it to us and showing it to us in an obvious way, whether it be something changing, you know, outside of you that feels out of your control or it brings through some sort of ending or conflict. It, it does that so that it can shake us awake, you know, to the things that we really need to be focused on or to begin our internal growth journey, right? And so I feel like that's kind of what's been going on here, Gemini. There's some sort of change that is occurring or has occurred that has put you back on the right track, that has made you see with a new set of eyes, okay, what's important to you, what do you value, what do you want to put your time and energy into, how to let go. Sometimes when we cannot let go, the universe taketh away, you know, because it's in our highest good. Anything that happens to you is in your highest good, right? So I feel like <clears throat> there could have been some of that going on here, Gemini, within you. But let's see what's going on with this person. Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Ah. Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. So I feel like, wow, Gemini. <laughs> Holy cow. Like this person is in this space right now of really getting clear with what they're committed to as well. Really getting clear. I heard clear conscience. Clearing their conscience having a clear conscience, moving forward with sure footing. This person is ready to take a leap of faith here after doing some work on themselves. I feel that they're coming from a place of being grounded, of coming into their own joy, of finding their own path. This person um, has done a lot of thinking around the situation or around the connection. They've also learned quite a bit here when it comes to love, commitment, relationships, their own future. It's interesting because I feel like sometimes you got to learn the hard way, but both of you seem to have learned something and maybe the hard way. They're giving me the song Hard Knock Life, right? Um, yours seems to have, in your energy, there's more of like this divine intervention coming through, something changing, you know, that may feel, like I said, that was taken out of your hands or they're saying out of context. Also, something could have been taken out of context, all right? Um, and then this person's change is also coming through, of course, divine intervention, but it's coming through on an internal level where yours seems to be like ricocheting from an external event, if that's making any sense. But either way, this person is getting into the space of really being clear about what they want, Gemini, and ready to take that leap of faith here. Um, so let's see what's going on in your heart of hearts underneath it all. How, dang! 
<laughs> I did not mean to. I don't even know where that came from. Dying Gemini is what my, my little inner, inner child came out of there. <laughs> but you have the Ace of Cups here twice. One, two. So love is in the air. And I have that song playing. Love is in the air. <laughs> All right, so, and I'm also getting the word conflict resolution. That may be an important theme uh, as we go into January. I'm sorry, I just heard a door close and I'm home alone. So, <laughs> or maybe it was my dryer. I'm going to assume it's all good. All right. Or there's a ghost. Either way. It'll be all right. All right. So um, the moon and the page of swords, the wheel of fortune. So Gemini, all these deep emotions showing up, deep love, deep love here. And yet here's this page of swords. Now this is interesting because the page of swords was in this person's deck, but it has different meanings in different decks. This is kind of more of a skeptical stance where this one is more of an informative open mind stance. So the universe is encouraging you to be a bit more open minded during this time frame, And, um, there's something definitely here to learn on a karmic level when it comes to <clears throat> empathy, healing, love, relationships. It could too be, Gemini, getting in tune and getting in touch with your own emotional self, with your own spiritual self, you know, to let down your guard a little bit. Sometimes this card talks about trust issues or, you know, the skepticism type of vibe. And I'm not saying don't be logical, don't, don't weigh out, you know, a situation. Um, but I'm also saying leave leave a little room for grace and empathy and love as well and they're giving me a song leave a little love in your heart it's all these songs but um maybe you had a, a tough karmic lesson though in the past right around trauma is what they're giving me but also trust in relationships and that could be a hard one to get over right especially if, if that occurs during our formative years but i feel like you are in this space, right, of really being called to go towards more of your loving self, more of your empathetic self, more of the part of you that that cares, you know, that deeply cares. Because that's who you really are, Gemini. You're a lover and you came here to love. So let's see this person's energy. King of Cups. The Hermit. The Seven of Swords, sorry, the Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, that's definitely my dryer. Y'all hear it? <laughs> it must be off balance. It's about to go through the floor. Okay, give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, I'm back. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, this person's emotional self. <laughs> is the, the king of cups the hermit the seven of wands and the nine of cups so i heard poised for success all right <clears throat> i'm telling you this person must have done some uh, some sort of inner reflection here because i feel like they're really coming from this place of deep feeling emotions okay or They've, they've definitely learned something, all right, around love and relationships, okay, that they've had some sort of spiritual progression around. And now in their heart of hearts, I feel like this person is wanting, that's my dryer again, <laughs> this cannot be coincidence, I don't know, some of y'all need to check your washer and dryer, I don't know. Um, this person's going into this space here where they're looking for the meaning. They're looking for meaning. 
that's a true mark of emotional maturity and spiritual growth, looking for purpose and meaning, right? People who don't, people who do not um, ever stop to reflect or look for the meaning, they have a lot of spiritual growth yet to do, you know? And we all know, you know, somebody like that, that just takes everything at face value. It's always someone else's fault and they, and they just go about life that way. But their life will never be truly satisfying to them until they look deeper within for the meaning, the purpose, the self-reflection, self-awareness. That is um, what we're called to do as well as human beings is to go deeper, right? So I feel like this person, they've went there. You know what I mean? Like they, they may have taken life for face value at first, but I feel like they're going to this phase where they are in this phase where they're looking for the deeper meaning, right? Which often happens as we age too. Sometimes life has to kick our ass a little bit before we actually ask ourselves, what is the purpose? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I feel like that's um, been something that this person has had to do. So let's look at the bigger spiritual picture and where this is headed. Then Gemini, Five of Cups. Okay, the first thing I heard was do not live life with regret. Sorry, hold on a second. Do not live life with regret because every mistake you made brought you to where you are today. And, you know, we don't know what we want until we know what we don't want. And how would we know what we don't want if we don't make mistakes? And also, in the eyes of your higher self, you've never made a mistake. And you've certainly never had one day of your life that you were not unconditionally loved by your higher self, God, your source, whatever you call it. All right, you may unlove yourself sometimes, but the love of source is unconditional, always loves you. Right, so it's like there's something here about like really needing to let go of some things that you've been harboring and it's not even towards another person. It's really towards self, you know, and release any self condemnation, release any negative feelings you have towards yourself. Love yourself as unconditionally as you would want to be loved because you are loved that way. Maybe not by other people, but other people, most of them don't love themselves either. So how are they going to unconditionally love you? You know what I mean? But always by your higher self, always by your source, you are unconditional love. So if there's also this message here about like giving yourself grace and empathy and, you know, um, yeah. Release any self-condemnation that you may have towards yourself. Anyways, it could also be that there's a lesson around forgiveness here, whether that be this person or your or your energy here, Gemini. There's a rebalancing coming when it comes to your stability, your home, and relationships. Could also be coming through the family sector. And yet, here's the devil energy, Capricorn energy for some of you. So... Something that needs to be balanced out here um, when it comes to relationships is also on the docket. And here's that page of cups. So there's also this message here about letting go of which does not serve you, Gemini. The page of cups is like going back to the innocence you felt as a child can be a very vulnerable energy. Sometimes it can also talk about apologies or sincerity that may also be coming through in the month of D January. Um, but there's like, there's sincerity needed here or the sincere, a sincere approach is what would break some sort of karmic chain. And it doesn't even have to be a gesture to another person. It could be sincerity towards yourself right? 
but take it as it resonates. Let's see, this person's most likely future outcome. Three of Cups, the Moon. Seven of Cups. The Two of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups? The Seven of Cups. Okay. And the star card at the bottom, Ten of Pentacles. Yes. So I feel like Gemini, <clears throat> there's that three. How did I know? Three, three, three. Something's coming in the form of threes. Threes are also representative of reconciliations. Could also be third party involvement or others involvement. But honestly, I feel like whatever this is, there's some sort of resolve that wants to come in around it on an energetic, emotional level. This person has failed to recognize the importance of their own emotions in the past. And because of that, that may have they may have lacked some sort of depth or understanding about their life or relationships or this relationship. But this person has gone through their own spiritual development where they have done some self-reflection and they are getting looking for meaning here, um, but also looking to make a decision. And what they're wanting to manifest is a more stable um home or home life or commitment or definitely a greater sense of security when it comes to relationships or this relationship. Um, there might have been uncertainty in the past, but I feel like this person has reconciled that within themselves. And they're looking now to head towards that more stable foundation here, Gemini, and have that true union here. And I heard it takes two to tango, whatever that means, right? So I feel like, yeah, this person is very, very clear in their energy at the moment as to what they are hoping for, what they are feeling. And you have some clearing up yet to do a little bit in your vibration, right? Um, there is some sort of karma or karmic lesson here being learned on an emotional level on your end, but it has to deal with love and you're being brought back to your loving self. That's what this is. You're being guided back to that space of love and anything that is not in the vibration of love um, is looking to leave your energy during this part of your life or during this next 30 day time frame, right? It's like, yeah, the, the journey back to love. That's what I feel is going on on your end, which takes some time, right? But I find you're getting balance here. There's stability coming through um, and some sort of sincerity or sincere gesture as well, whether that's coming from you or another person. And definitely spiritual growth. So let's see what the uh, overall guidance is for you and this person. Listen. And vulnerability. How did I know that card would come out? All right. So this says, this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are going to be based on intuition rather than rationality. Do not let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Make it your strength. Yeah, there's some sort of a lesson here around vulnerability, Gemini. This person's spiritual message is listen. You will have to be willing to listen if you want to understand someone. Now is not the time to offer advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but what lies beneath the words. Well, being a good listener is also part of being a uh, spiritual growth, right? To, to seek to understand as opposed to seek to judge is a mark of true emotional growth. So that's where you're both being guided. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I'm going to leave it there. Zodiac signs that you could be connecting with or having your own birth chart. I have um, 
Pisces. I have Virgo, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio again, and Capricorn again. Um, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff, and I do have events and videos over there. All of my social media is Tarot Time with Dana, but also linked in the description box below as well as in the About section of my YouTube where you can also find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you could do so there. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Gemini. Until next time, my friends. Namaste. Bye.